Hi, welcome back to Gamescape 3D. Uh, so I'm here with the release for the month of May. It is a multi-function amphitheater, prison slash market vending area. Uh, when I started this last month, I thought this would be a really straightforward and easy thing to make. I don't know what I was thinking. Anyways, uh, so it turns out it's super complicated, super big. We're about four inches short of three feet on one side and an inch short of two feet going across. I'm gonna go ahead and bring a camera in here in different parts uh, and we're gonna start taking this thing apart a little bit and uh, give you some idea what you can do with this monstrosity, all right? <clears throat> all right, here we are on kind of the football field view of this thing. Uh, what we have here is we have four jail cells on either side. Let me get these towers out of the way. The towers uh, themselves, let's see if this one just clipped in on one side. Uh, the jail part here is assembled with open lock clips. Most of, the, most of the amphitheater down here that we'll get to soon is put together with glue. So uh, the base of these towers I did do a cut because I figure that's enough space there to kind of have a little bit of a barracks. The remainder of the tower is not cut. It's just large rooms. I figure top to bottom you might have room for, I don't know, six to eight archers. So I didn't see any reason to provide extra playing space on that. Anyways, we set this out of the way. You can see we got four prison cells here. One, two, three, four. We'll move this over, take a closer look here. There we go. We got four cells here. Attach this, we have this open locked into the amphitheater. So there's our four cells. There's our four doors, all right. The cells, you can get access to those just by lifting off these roof pieces, okay? And then the doors also slide out, all right. So it gives you your access there. Uh, I also went ahead and designed a bunch of grill covers for these roofs in case you need extra plank area. If you want to use these as sort of a wall, you can do that. And these are just real easy planks. You can FDM print. Uh, each one of the tops is kind of a slightly different size. So you just have to see where they go. That's kind of that right there. I think this one goes down here, actually. Yeah, that's a better fit. So there you go. You can put those in there. Then you can have a functional wall for people to hang out on. So we're moving back out into center here. Uh, one thing you can do, this here is a stage area. These rocks on top are decorative. You can glue those on or not even use them if you want to. Do your own thing up there. Anyways, uh, this is the, the front of the stage for the amphitheater. This is one piece. I also have an option in there that's cut in half for those of you who only have eight inch build plates. Okay, and you can see here what removing that does is it really opens up a whole field. You got a whole nother kind of coliseum there or a battle training area or dueling dueling arena, whatever you want it to be. Um, this front gate, we'll move back a step here. This front gate is a similar deal. Open lock clips at both sides. There's the top, there's our gate. These gates are gonna be available as both the FDM prints flat on the bottom and as resin prints with texture on both sides. 
Uh, this is a similar deal right here. So this is a one piece print, but you'll also find an option in there for this front gate cut in half that you can glue together if you only have eight inch build plate. You're gonna need a little bit more than eight inches to get that done. All right, so that about covers our jail. In terms of the jail is a standalone item. What you can do is duplicate this part right here, and then you duplicate both of these towers, all right? And you put them down at the far end after you, after you remove it from the amphitheater. Uh, now the jails and the towers are both mirrored, okay? So this is the original and then this is the mirror side. All right, so don't just print up two of this one. Uh, you might be able to make it work, but uh, you might have some alignment problems with the open locks, okay? So buyer beware if you go your own way with that. All right, let's go ahead and pause here. Let's get to the other side of the table, take a look at this amphitheater. All right, so here we are with an isolated view of the amphitheater. You can see the, each of these steps uh, it really has a lot of space on it. It frees you to load up an audience on there. Stairs are functional. Uh, you can use those all the way up and all the way down. Uh, we also have, it's probably hard to see it this color, but this is the light catapult you're getting this month. Uh, so we got two pavilions on either side. Uh, we got two different types of crystal tops. I haven't painted these up yet, which is why they look all white. I got one with spikes. I got another one with just uh, larger crystals on it than the original. Uh, here, I've got a copy of the original right here too. So here's our original from our walls. And then here's, here's another alternate where you really have big crystals kind of shooting off it everywhere. All right. And then these, these tops will feature the light inserts so you can have glow crystal lighting uh, just like on the other buildings that we've had in this line. And that takes us down to these pavilions. These columns are gonna slap, these columns are gonna print separately. You print up four of them, you glue them on there. And then this just sets straight on there with uh, your cone stacking, basic cone stacking system. All right, that gets us down to there. All right, now at this point, we just got two big blocks we're printing out here to cover up our entrances. We got a couple of different options for the railing here. I haven't glued anything down, so I'm gonna take these off. This is a design that we had on another one, but it's a different size. And we have a new one that's more imitative of this kind of look right here. So you can pick either one of those, depending on whether you want uh, your railing to sort of imitate your battlement tops or whether you want it to imitate uh, this kind of this kind of design right here all right so I haven't glued this on this this top part is just a series of three plates you can glue them down there's no reason not to glue them down It did kind of occur to me after the fact that maybe I should have punched some holes in this uh, so that the merchant area on the other side could have some lighting underneath it. That might be neat, and I might go ahead and do that at a later date. I'll take a look at that this month because there's no reason not to have some holes in there and just drop this down in there. You know, when you have to knock something out in 30 days and test printing, you don't always think of every little thing. Anyways, this part is comes in, prints in three parts and those get glued together. You can see little alignment pegs. Just make sure you use a flat surface, use two part epoxy. Uh, my advice is don't bother with the plastic epoxy because in, in my experience, it doesn't seem to work any better uh, than just the regular stuff. Anyways, this brings us down to our final layer here. Okay, you can see we got our two gates right here with our insert gates. We've got our merchant stalls right across there. Uh, right now, all I got for you are blank shelves and blank tables, uh, but I'll make up for that next month. It's just, uh, 
just a whole nother thing to get into doing tiny little details and then a lot of times those things can take as much time as this big stuff so uh, this kind of is what it is you can see right here I just ran out filament when I was printing this particular part that's nothing for you to be concerned of uh, that's nothing for you to be concerned about I just wasn't gonna reprint it for that so uh, and then this whole thing is uh, glued together one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight parts, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, eight parts. Those are all glued together into one functional piece. And uh, there you have it. That's kind of an overview of the whole breakdown of the thing. Now, I also have a whole bunch of wall ends I made up that you'll find in your folder. They got open lock connectors on them. And uh, these are to just sort of plug the holes if you want any of these things to sort of work on their own. So you can see we got, if this, uh, if this amphitheater was to stand alone, we got some open locks here to cover, we got an open lock here to cover if we want to. And uh, these wall ends could just clip in and kind of cover up those holes for you if you don't want them there. If you just want to be permanently this one has a little clip in it. I usually just use one as far as clipping these things together. I put slots in there for two open locks, but man, I never feel like I need to. So anyways, there's sort of a sample of what this thing might look at if you had it as a standalone. And if this is taking up too much room, you need a little stage area there. You can go ahead and go like that. You could even have your stage area detached Pull it back a little bit if you wanted to right and then use these wall ends on the side of that so you got some versatility here to set this thing up the way you want it all right make this thing uh, create the space you need it to need it to have and I just came up with that I didn't even see that before you know who knows you could very easily come up with your own combos of what you want this thing to look like. There's not a lot of versatility there, but there's definitely some. Uh, as far as the jail goes, if you want to double your cells, you probably can mirror them and do that. If you want a 16 cell jail instead of an eight cell jail. So anyways, that's back together enough for you to sort of get the idea of what's going on there. Uh, so thanks for stopping by. We will see you We'll see you next month with a less crazy, less large thing. I think we're going to do a bunch of ruins, a lot of versatile scatter terrain. Uh, it's definitely going to be a lot of bite-sized pieces next month. So uh, I'm looking forward to taking a break from this sort of insanity. And we will see you next month.